Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Shivani again from Thai Editor Kimono. Um, one of my juban that is in my collection is actually a two part juban, and I realized I hadn't actually done a tutorial on how to use them. Um, two part uh, juban or a nubushiki juban, they tend to be more and more common uh, these days. They, like, I have the skirt part here, yeah, I have it folded up like that, and then the top part which also comes some come with sleeves some don't mine does have um sleeves and i should my own color on these things are incredible if you have a body that is a non-standard size um whether that means you are tall like i am or if you're curvy because regular juban they might not fit the way that they're supposed to be on on you uh, in my case it's usually the length like one of my other um, Jiban is about 30 centimeters too short. Now this one is perfect for that because I can um, pretty much dress them independently of each other. I can decide where I want to wear the skirt and where I want to wear the top part. So yeah, um, I, I love this one. I tend to use the skirt on the most, especially during the summer because I have a um, hand Jiban. That uh, has uh, no sleeves, whereas this one does have um, some sleeves. So yeah. <laughs> um, well, before I forget, um, I use a padding belt. Um, it kind of depends on what you prefer when it comes to wearing your padding. I prefer to put my skirt on, put then my padding belt, and put the top part of the the jiba on top of the actual padding belt. Um, I'll leave that up to you. That's per that's kind of personal. I just prefer to do it this way. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I guess that's all I have to say. Let's put it on. So the skirt part is pretty easy to put on. Just let me put it behind you. Make sure that it's even on both sides. Measure the front. So like that I usually like to tie, pull it tight, cross in the back, and then simply knot this high is tucked them in, and you're done. So the skirt part is not the, uh, the problem. I like to put my pen and belt on top. And the skirt part. Now before I show you in the back, some do have them, some don't. Um, this is called an Emon Nuki. It's a kind of a tool to help the uh, collar stay down. You kind of thread um, the himo that are on both sides. You thread through them. Now, Mine used to have three different pockets, but one of them broke, so it only has two now, and you can see it's, uh, it's been well loved, so to speak. <laughs> so I'll, I'll show you just now. You basically just thread the, the hemo, thread them through on both sides, and when you pull them, it kind of keeps the, the collar down taut. It is optional, you don't have to use it, but it's kind of optional. So uh, let me put this one on. Okay. So I just, I just thread one arm through and then the other. Pulling on both sides so that the color is even in the middle. On both sides, you should have these hemo. Of course, always the right side goes in first. Now, when you do, you would th simply thread the hemo through the armhole and then to the back. What I like to do now, it's always this stuff, I just like to pull the colors down and in the back so that it kind of stays in place. And then pulling on either either side moving to the back and 
this is where the Emil Nuki comes in. Now, like I said, uh, mine is well loved and I usually had the Himal crest about here, but since um, mine broke, I'll put it through here. As I show you, you simply thread them through, crossing. And then pull it down, rotate, and bring it to the front. Get the sleeves out of the way. And then you simply tie these ties. Just pull everything down. Now, I personally like to tie a Dajajima on top. Usually the Himo is not enough for me. So again, that is purely optional. So, so the, this way the colors stay nice and down. As you can see, usually <laughs> It would cross up in about here, but now it's just underneath the Datatini. Now, a great tip is to pull down the Imunuki as far down as you can because it helps to keep the collar down even more. So that's pretty much how you tie... Oh, just pull it up a little bit. <laughs> so that is pretty much how you uh, put on... Uh, two-piece two tube, but it's not really that complicated but you might want to need to find your own uh, way to do it because this is my personal way um, this is how I pretty much tied I'd say always when whenever I wear it that is but yeah oh one thing I forgot <laughs> what I like to do um, I, for this video I put a, a regular bra on, usually I'll put on something else. I put this handkerchief in the middle so that the colors cross over this handkerchief instead of whatever I'm wearing um, beneath. So that the kimono nga colors won't um, kind of press in between um, the breasts I, <laughs> I say. But yeah, um, I kind of feel naked. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty much... Um, I would say a two-piece gym one. Um, yeah, I guess that's it, guys. Um, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.